everyone, we are here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We are nearing the end of the day, but there are other shows to come. Before we get there, we are here actually in the Jiffy booth, and they are, you guys come to all the shows, so I'm even though it's show. the end of the day, what? I'm at every show. I'm at every show. So even though it's the end of the day, there's still a lot more opportunities to come and meet them. So Tim, introduce yourself, and okay. let's talk about some drills. My name is Tim Van Zeele, and I'm the sales manager Thank for Development you. Engineering, uh, and our main line that everybody knows and loves is Jiffy Ice Drills. We do Badger Turf Vent, which is Badger Earth Augers and Turf Vent Lawn Aeration Equipment. But everybody knows Jiffy. Everybody knows Jiffy. Everybody knows Jiffy. You don't know how many people <laughs> I run into that, oh, I have an old white top. I, my grandpa had it, and then he gave it to my dad, and now I'm running it. And they're still running. We've been making them since 1951. 1951. That is a long time. That's awesome. Since... Oh. <laughs> So these days, though, there's quite a few models to choose from, and you have them here in the booth. So um, let's talk about some of these options and what they have to offer. Oh, well, we're going to start out with the Venerable Model 30. So everybody knows and loves the Model 30. You hear about it all the time. My grandpa had it, my dad had it. So the Model 30 is our longest standing unit. So what we've done this year to improve the Model 30 is we put a dual action carb on the Model 30. You can do your regular start cycle where you prime the bulb, pull start. But when it gets really cold, you need that extra kick. So you prime it, and then there's this little black button. If you can get a little closer, you'll see this little black button on the carburetor. And you press that black button, pull, press the bulb two more times, and it direct injects into the firing chamber, and you're going to get one pull, two pull starts in negative 30, 40 degree weather. That is awesome. So the days of being out there and having to rip the cord and rip the cord and rip the cord, it does not have to be like that anymore. No, it never had to be like that. If you had a jiffy, it wasn't. There you go. <laughs> so, model 30. Then we have our four stroke gas, the 41 4G. The 4G comes with the STX auger, and you always know an STX auger because you're going to see that yellow pinstripe on our STX augers. We have a guy in our factory, Kevin Sloma, hand pinstripes each and every one of those augers. Oh my goodness, that so is that really is, cool. That is a customization that we do that is hand done. So he stands by his little wheel and he pinstripes each and every one of those augers. Wow, okay. And it is fantastic. So the 4G is a four stroke straight gas unit. And when I, when I mention straight gas, what I will bring in is do not ever use ethanol fuel in a small engine. So you want premium gas or even take it a step up and buy the canned gas. Okay. So you can't buy canned gas straight premium fuel, but you can use premium fuel in the 4G. Use the canned gas, the pre-mixed 40 to 1 gas in your Model 30. And then you'll you'll never have any issues with following or you know build up of the ethanol. It just it gums up the engine. Well, and the nice thing about this though is you're not going through large amounts of gas. You know you have certainly a small tank on here, and then that the use of that is really a long time. So you're not like having to dump gas in and dump it in and dump it in. This a full tank of gas. You're gonna you're gonna drill for weeks on end with one full tank of gas, unless you're running gun and drilling 200 holes doesn't really matter. You're, you're still not going to pay a lot. But also a great application gas. for that person because it can handle that many holes and that quanti quantity of power. Run it all weekend long mm -hmm. and you'll never have a problem. Then we go to the propanes. We brought the propane out in 2009. They were invented. They really took hold in 2011. Uh, Jiffy invented the ice arm. So I actually had, I, I am jumping out of character here, but we had a gentleman stop in the booth and he said, oh, my Jiffy's not running right. And I said, well, that's good, because ours run left. Oh! <laughs> so we invented the ice auger back in 1951, and they do have left-hand rotation, so that's how you always know you have a Jiffy. Okay. Um, model 46 Extreme Propane Auger. One of the most versatile yeah. augers on the market. You never have to worry about priming. You never have to worry about choking, carburetor. The only thing I will say about a propane unit and the 4G is with the four strokes, you have to be absolutely certain to set it down spark plug side up. If you set it down backwards, you're going to get oil draining through and into the carburetor to follow it up and never start it. Okay. So if you're having starting problems, you most likely set your auger down the wrong way at some point. Okay, so very important thing that is kind of seems like a minor detail, but really affects the running of the device. Absolutely. It is critical that if you've ever set it down wrong and oil has drained through it, bring it in, have it serviced, they can correct it. 
but if you're out on the ice and you've set it down wrong, it's and it's not starting, if it doesn't start on the first two pulls, you've done something wrong. Okay. Or okay. you're out of propane. <laughs> or you're out of propane, okay. And with that is very easy to fix. It is. So one of them, you know, be very conscious of, but the other is a very easy fix. Yeah, there's a, a couple of issues that uh, people can have with propane augers, and if you have had any following, make sure to check your spark plug. Check your spark plug gap. Every year, at least once a year, I've had many guys say, well, I do it twice a year. Check your oil. Because okay. propane does create moisture when it's running. So you'll get milky oil. And if you have milky oil, not good. So make sure you change your oil regularly. Okay. But otherwise, the same propane tanks is what you would otherwise be carrying around. Camp stoves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, those heaters or whatever that you're already preparing for, whatever you carry, um, that is what is going to go in this as well. So products that you already have, that's a great thing to be able to use and have on the ice. Exactly. And then there's even one more. There is. We have our E6 Lightning. It is a 6 amp 40 volt battery, so you're going to get a lot of holes. A lot. A lot of holes with that battery. So you're going to be able to drill with the 6 inch auger, so that's how we measured it in two feet of ice, drilled over 100 holes with one battery charge. That's awesome. So 2400 inches of ice with the 6 inch, you're going to get about 70 to 80 holes with the 8 inch, 60 to 70 holes with the 9 and 10. Okay, that's but that's a, a lot of holes. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of holes. So if you have a favorite lake, if you have a spot that you're going out to, um, you're going to be able to pinpoint where those fish are at. You know, they're typically here. Today they're over there. You're not going to run out. You will be able to draw them. There's a couple other little things with the E6 that I want to point out. We do. It has the forward and reverse. So you're going to be able to drill your hole, flush throw it, it right in reverse, away. you flush your hole out. You're drilling in really low light conditions. You got lighting. This will cast about an eight foot cone of light around you while you're drilling. Okay. So you've got high visibility. And then there's just one small feature that we added, and it was, it's not as small as you think, but you're out on the ice, and a lot of times you have your phone with you. We have a USB charging port built into the power head. So you can plug your phone in, your phone's never gonna be dead while you're out in the ice. Some guys may not appreciate that, they can say, well, hey, my phone died. And then his wife will say, <laughs> but you had your E6. You could have charged your phone all day. That's that's not right. Perfect Christmas gift. Exactly. This is a great Christmas gift. A few other things that I did notice about this, though, is, you know, the light is great for drilling holes, but um, I see the light as an application for, especially when you are cleaning up. You know, if you do set this down on the ice and that light can project out, you will be able to see on the ice if you are missing cleaning anything up. Um, or, you know, if you drill it kind of halfway and you can kind of have that light on the ground. If you have kids around with you, they will be able to see where they are stepping. They're not going to be tripping in holes. They're not going to be stepping on your jigs that fell or whatever. Um, so having that light is kind of a function that you can use in different ways um, and it's kind of a fun neat detail. Charging your jigs. Or charging your Charging jigs. your glow jigs. That's really cool. Um, the other thing that I noticed is sometimes when you have batteries like this, they're kind of tricky to get in and out. Um, just you have to be really careful on how you line it up. But the thing that I noticed about this battery is the ability to take it in and out um, was really easy. And so um, sometimes you're fumbling around, and especially with cold hands, that's a pain to have to use a button and slide and whatever. Um, but this really was very user friendly. It slides very nicely. You're not going to like get stuck or whatever. Um, so that was a really nice feature. Um, the other thing is that they're very light. They are. <laughs> yeah. So if you have, you know, an older kid, a teen that's really trying to get out there, drill their own holes, learn the sport, they would be able to bring this, pick this up, drill all those holes for you, then you just get to go and fish them. And that is a really great thing. Um, another thing, you know, Josh and I will go out and fish together, and some people assume that he drills all the holes. That's not, <laughs> that's not totally true. <laughs> <laughs> but this would be an auger that I would be able to comfortably not only pick up, not only drill holes, but do a whole bunch of them. I can set up the tip ups, I can set up the drill, uh, the jig holes, or whatever else that we're looking for. So um, that's a really great thing. It is. And all of our augers come with the step off caps. So if you're getting ready to go, you don't have to pull your gloves off, you don't have to worry about pulling straps, you just step on it, it pops off. And then with any luck, Normally it's sitting in snow, so it sits still. It does, yeah, it does. Right Clicks back right in. back in. Um, and also a great safety feature, because if you do set it down on the ice, um, like we bring our dog with us, um, God forbid she would brush up against it, that cap on there not only protects the blades and keeps them sharp, but keeps it safe for the people on the ice. Because our augers come 
with the Ripper blades. This is our competitive advantage over any auger on the market. A Ripper blade is the most aggressive cutting blade you have. It doesn't shave the ice, it's chipping the ice as it goes. So even if, God forbid, your blades are dull, you may have to work a little harder, but it's still going to cut. As soon as you dull a shaver blade, you're making dimples in the ice and you're not getting anywhere. Well, and in addition, these are great for reopening holes that were previously drilled. So sometimes some drills, they might get chipped up or nicked up, but this yep. is really, really great to power through those holes that reopen, reopen, refreeze in between. Right. If you have a hard house, if you have just a favorite fishing hole that you always go back to the same spot, that is a great application for these blades. And they're easily sharpened because it's a flat surface. It's a flat, even surface. We have a blade sharpener that if you use the ripper blades and you have the blade sharpener, three or four swipes through the blade sharpener, which is right here, which is pre-angled and set to the angle of our ripper blades. All you take is one, two, three, four swipes through, and your blades are sharp and you're off and running again. Um, now, with that, there is a whole bunch of other great products and great accessories that you could come and see if you wanted to. Check them out. Um, other great Christmas presents are accessories for your favorite um, existing products. Um, but come down to the show. There's just a very little bit of time left. Or come and see them at another show. So all these cool... Um, um, 18 to 24 inch drill extension. So the guys that were stacking two or three extensions in the past, you don't, don't need, need to, to do that anymore. So if you are interested in that or any of their other accessories, come down to one of these shows. Otherwise, for people who aren't at a show, um, sounds like a silly question, where do you find Jiffy? Where do you find Jiffy? Uh, Jiffyonice.com. Okay, um, and in some stores. And in many major retailers. Any yeah. outdoor store, you're gonna be able to find Jiffy. Or on our website, or on our service, or on our dealer locator on Jiffyonice.com. We have a dealer locator, which will show you every location where you can purchase a Jiffy ice cream. Awesome. So check out their website. Otherwise, ask one of your friends and see it on the ice. And as we're here, Dakota, England. Yeah. <laughs>